today we're here at Axmill, uh, which is a key part of our PGF funded roading program. It involved lifting the road and improving waterways to avoid flooding of areas, particularly around Flaxmill and Wanstead. Back in 2018 when I started at Council, uh, we had a pretty bad year with some weather uh, and this road was closed for an excess of 20 days at that time. Uh, at the same time the government announced the Provincial Growth Fund program uh, and we joined the dots and put in an application to that fund for just over $20 million uh, to upgrade this piece of road as well as some funding to do some other roads on our network and we started work on this project which is going really well. One of the key drivers at the time was around resilience and economic uh, activity in the area. So Summer Council's key, key values and key drivers are around connecting communities and around durable infrastructure. And we knew at the time that our infrastructure clearly wasn't durable, uh, it wasn't resilient and it wasn't standing up to weather events. We had communities that were cut off um, from town and cut off from their businesses, cut off from schools, cut off from uh, all of their needs uh, multiple days a year and we sought to address that through the work that we're doing here. So a lot of work has happened on the road, raising the road to make it more resilient, but what we're doing actually here is work outside of the road corridor. So while the other work that we're doing is focused on the road and roading improvements, here we're doing some work in the waterway, so that's about uh, reducing the amount of flooding when those heavy rain events happen by getting rid of the water quicker. So improving the resilience uh, on this road and reducing the flooding had three key components. Uh, the improvements to the road was what we've tackled first, that's where we've raised the road. Uh, some actual improvements to the bridge itself which you'll see behind me is in a pretty beat up state from a number of years of um, damage from heavy flood events and machinery. And then the third one is working in the waterway itself and that involved uh, working with some of our partner teams on understanding what is some pretty unique hydrology. So we actually get water at times flowing what people would call uphill. So sometimes the water will flow under the bridge and back up into the swamp and at other times it will flow out of the swamp and back down into, into the creek here and that depends on where the rain falls. What we see in rain events is that as, as the rainfall comes down the catchment and underneath the bridge, uh, we have debris build up uh, and that may cause a damming effect upstream, uh, which results in water then spilling over the stop bank and flooding the road either side. What we've had to do is understand that hydrology first of all and then take action in the waterway both upstream and downstream of the bridge uh, to make changes where we can to the waterway to make sure that when it does rain that water goes away as quick as it can and doesn't cause any further flooding. We're getting to the back end of the program and it's really exciting to, to see this work wrap up and us improve safety and resilience uh, for, for future generations. This work will ensure that communities prosper and that together the communities can thrive.